Hey guys, Reesey here. Just uh, with a quick tutorial on how to get Pokemon games on your laptop slash computer. Right, all it is is you're going to firstly, in a minute when I open this link, you're going to click the link in the description. I'm going to put the link in the description. But for now I've saved it in this Word document. So I'm going to open up the Word document. There's the link. It should be zshare forward slash download forward slash a bunch of numbers and a few letters. For me, I'm just going to copy and paste that into my internet browser. Just wait for it to load. Copy and paste that in there, and you'll get this page. And it should say download at the top Pokemon by Reesey.zip. You come down here to make sure it's that same file name. Click download now at the bottom, not the top two. Then you get this page, and it will tell you to it will download in so many seconds, 45 or something like that. So because I've already got it. I'm going to close that down and you'll get this folder all this WinRAR, you're going to need WinRAR to extract your files to the desktop and then you'll get, once you've extracted it, you should have this folder which is basically the same name but a folder version and inside you're going to open it you're going to do the Game Boy Advance first, I think we are so <coughs> we're going to click Visual Boy Advance just drag this down here click File and Open uh, it does play both Game Boy Advance and Pokemon Color game, yeah, Game Boy Color game. Sorry. So we're going to start with. Not, we're not going to start with this. I don't think. I believe I'm going to start with the Game Boy Color game. Yep. There we go. Thank you. Pokemon Yellow. I think I do choose. And then obviously the game loads. You can make the screen really big, like full screen. It is a bit pixelated because it's a bit of an old game. And then you can make, you can just make it a bit bigger, like I do, just so it's a bit bigger, so I can see everything. Then obviously that. And that's your Pokemon Yellow, and that's what, how that works. Close that. Let's reopen it. Time for a Game Boy Advance game now. So go to where you saved your the folder. Which mine was on the desktop. Pokemon games, Advance games. Now I'm gonna. I think I choose Pokemon Fire Red. <laughs> Make the screen a bit bigger. And here's a little a few tips and tricks on how to use Visual Boy Advance. If you go into options, joypad, configure, then this is how you do your configuration of your what buttons you want and everything else. Obviously, look, here we go. Number one, the buttons down the left hand side here are your Game Boy, uh, Game Boy Advance buttons. So, and then all you do on the right is you press your keyboard button, which you want them to consist with. I'm just going to click cancel. And then that's how you do that. And a little trip which only works for Visual Boy Advance, if you go into throttle, and then a frame skip, then other throttle, then other. Then if I type, you type in the number, I'm going to type in 500. Click OK. It makes the game run a lot faster. But I must warn you that if you do play with the sound on, it makes the sound really weird. So a little, you can turn that off if you want the game to work faster, which is what I do. And you go into options, sound, and mute. And then you have no sound. And that is that. Right, close that. Time for the Nintendo DS. You're going to open Desmume. And before we do any opening of games, you want to click uh, View. Sorry, I clicked Emulation. View. Screen Separation. Narrow Border. Once you click Narrow Border, what that does is it puts a little border in between the two screens as if you are playing a DS. So you click Open ROM. I'm going to go to the desktop, which is where I saved it. Pokemon by Reese. Pokemon Games. Nintendo DS Games. I'll give you a choice of Pokemon Heart Gold, Soul Silver. And Pokemon White, Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver are in English, but Pokemon White is a translated version from Japanese to English, so the names will be a tad bit weird. So I'm going to open Soul Silver. I'm going to wait for it to load, and then obviously you can use your mouse like a stylus on a DS for the bottom screen to click stuff, which is what I did there. I just skipped that, and then to change your, you go into Control Fig, set what everything you want as. Don't know why I have a fascination with wiggling the mouse. And uh, you can turn your sound off in sound settings. I turn them off. Then volume down to zero. And pretty much this is to make the videos and the battles a bit quicker. I go on to uh, config, frame skip, and then limit frame rate is ticked. So I untick it, which turns it off, and it makes the video on the starting screen and uh, the battles a bit quicker. And then that's. 
pretty much that. Thanks for watching, guys. Being Reesey. If you want any tutorials or any help with the other stuff that you think I may be able to make a video for, then please leave comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate and comment and subscribe if you really want to. See ya.